Hey everybody, happy Friday. I am back and it looks like my camera's way high. Let's see. I am back from Maui. It was incredible. And let me tell you, it definitely recharged the batteries. I feel um, energized and excited to get started for the summer with, with you guys. Lots of, lots of project ideas came while I was resting and relaxing in the sun. All right, looks like you guys are jumping on. Let's make sure I'm in the right place. All right. Hello. Hello, everybody. All right. Good. It's good to see you guys. It feels like a lifetime ago <laughs> that I did Facebook Live. It's funny how uh, vacation makes things slow down and it just seems like 100 years ago that we did this. But it was just two weeks ago. All right. Hello, everybody. Good. I'm glad you guys are getting on. I hope you're having a great week. I have, if you could see my table, it literally is like stacked with stuff to show you. So I'm going to get started. Um, I want to tell you that I'm going to, I have all, well, not all, I have a lot of my goodies from Maui. Here's one of the bags that they gave us. And I'm going to show you guys all of this, but I'm going to wait till the end. Um, that way, if you don't care to see all that, you can get off or whatever. But I have to get, I, I have to take Pepper to the vet. So we have to get done in a timely manner today. It's not until four, but you never know how long it's going to go. Um, so if I, hopefully I won't forget at the end. <laughs> Usually at the end I'm like, oh, but hopefully I won't forget. Because I do want to show you I have some sneak peek products. I have the new holiday catalog. Um, I just have some things I want to show you. But I came home um, from Maui and I had a pile of boxes. And some of them were from you guys. So I just have to show you some of the things that you guys sent me while I was gone. Um, I think it'll be better for me to flip the camera to show you. So why don't I show you while we're waiting to let to for everybody to get on. Let me just do a couple of announcements. Um, Club Create. Let's see. Next Friday is what? It's going to be June 4th. Okay, so one more time I'll be able to remind you. If you want to do the... Plentiful Plants Club Create. Make sure you have subscribed. I'm going to tell you about a lot of things here in a few minutes. I, when I'm done, I'm going to come back and add all the links for everything that you need, okay? Um, they're also on my blog, of course, too. Um, but Plentiful Plants is Club Club Create this month. Well, actually, June. There, there will be six projects instead of five. So, make sure you have subscribed. It is a subscription, but you it's not a commitment you can cancel anytime, even if you just wanna sign up for one month, okay? So there's that, don't forget. Um, these are some of my favorite projects, maybe of all time, I don't know. That hanging plant thing is just the cutest. Okay, so there's that. Next, um, just yesterday I finished my class. You know, I didn't do a class to go in May, um, because there was no way I could get it done, but I could not wait to get June's class to go design and guess what it is? The peaches. And let me tell you guys, there are lots of peach scented things out there. Um, there's probably more peach scented than there are peach flavored. Um, so you know how I love a challenge. So I searched high and low <laughs> for peach things. So this class actually has four, um, four 3D projects, so four little treat things with links to where I got them, and three cards. So this is kind of a, um, a big class. It has seven projects. It is not ready. It's ready, but I haven't listed it yet. Probably um, Monday or Tuesday I'll list this. There, there will be a PDF available also. I just sent my PDF to my proofreader so she can check all of my <laughs> typos because there's a lot. Anyway, be on the lookout for this if you want the peach sweet as a peach class to go. It's very cute. I love, I know you guys do too. Love, love, love that paper. That Calypso Coral with Balmy Blue is dreamy. It's very cute. Okay, so today we're doing hats off. I couldn't wait to get started with this. But before we start stamping, I want to show you guys some other things, okay? Um, one thing I want to tell you about, you know what, I'm going to flip the camera because I think the rest of this I just need to show you guys better. All right, so let me just Okay, so you guys, it's Memorial Day weekend. I hope you guys are getting ready for something fun this weekend. It's probably going to rain here. I don't know. Although, I probably have had enough sun for a while. 
But hopefully where you guys are, you're going to have some warm weather. Maybe, hopefully. And those of you not in the U.S., Memorial Day is kind of our kick off to summer, really. Uh, I mean, that's not its intention. It's to remember our war heroes, but everybody knows that's when summer starts. <laughs> so it's always fun. Okay, I need to tell you about this United Through Creativity digital download that Stampin' Up! has come up with. It is completely free. Um, it came out while I was gone, and I just kind of spaced on it and didn't share it with you. I will put... put I will put the link here in the description of the video today when I'm done. It is to celebrate diversity. Um, they created the images for World Diversity Day, a day for communities to come together and understand the value of cultural diversity. You know, that's, that's an important thing right now. Um, but anyway, they are images that you can print out on cardstock and use on your cards. So there's sentiments and then there's things that you can color. Um, if your printer is is good, <laughs> it will take the, the Stampin' Up! white cardstock in your printer. Um, my printer is not good. It used to do that, and now it doesn't, But <laughs> unless I like force feed it in there. But if you have a good printer, you can print these out on um, our basic white, and then it's just like a stamped image, and you can color them with your Stampin' Blends. Um, I don't know. Anyway, look, different languages and stuff. It celebrates, I believe, all of the countries where Stampin' Up! is sold. Um, I will admit that I don't know all the details about this, but chin up, it's all come, it'll all come out in the wash. That's cute. Um, but I just wanted to make sure you guys knew about it. It's free. Remember, this time last year, we came up with one for the pandemic. Oh, look at that. Um, we came out with one for the pandemic. That was a fundraiser and it costs money, but this one does not cost money. It is totally free. Okay. So watch for that link. I will give you guys that link when the video is over. Okay. Let me show you some things that I got in the mail. First off, I know Donna's here. Look what Donna sent me. Donna sent me a metallic bowl or a magnetic bowl for me. You guys know, I lose my dyes and we're always talking about a magnetic bowl. So this one is created, um, Donna writes your friend who owns this company, Crafter Solution, they're on Etsy. And the husband, it's a husband and wife team and he does 3D printing and so he does all of this with the 3D printer. And she sent me this little, um, what do you call this? Tear and tape dispenser. I love it. And I have room for a skinny one now. And then this, of course, is fantastic. This is like, it actually made me laugh. My husband was like, what is that? I'm like, you wouldn't get it, but believe me, I totally need it. So Donna, you're so good. Thank you. Donna also sent me, you guys always ask me about this, that um, little holder for my um, heat tool. That also came from Crafter Solution. If you just, if you are interested in their stuff, they have all kinds of stuff to hold your craft supplies. Um, I believe the wife part of the team is a demonstrator. Donna, am I right? Um, oh, Debbie, her husband just passed away. Oh my God, that makes me feel terrible. Well, then we need to support them, right? So look them up. I am sure they are, um, they're going to have stuff um, for sale for a while anyway. But anyway, Donna, I loved it. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. So cute. Such a great idea. So thoughtful. Okay. Now this one came from Jill and I don't know if Jill's on here. Um, but Jill, <laughs> um, I loved this box. I was super excited. And her little note was so cute. Look at her card. She just said um, she wanted to let me know that she appreciates me and all the things that I do. So I was super excited to look at all the stuff in here. These are really cute. They're called scripture candy. Look at that. And they all have scriptures on them. So I love those, Jill. And then look, Peach Jolly Ranchers. Jill, where'd you find these? These are amazing. And I, I'm i going to have to come up with something for these too with our peaches. Then she said she also created some of these boxes with my box measurement video when I showed you guys how to make your own box. And so this one is great. It holds a Tic Tac. Jill, your stuff is like perfect. My, I can tell you my boxes are not this nice and neat at all. Yours are way cleaner and nicer than mine. So thank you. Look at this one too. I love all this fruit stuff. This one made me literally go <gasps> when I opened it. Look. Um, I think we're going to have to make one of these, you guys. This would be great for the peach 
because there is a peach hand sanitizer, a peach chapstick, and she just sent peach candy. Oh my gosh. So Jill, I'm gonna leave these out on my counter. Believe me, I'm gonna be showing these in the next few weeks. These are awesome. I'm totally casing them. Um, and then this, this looks familiar. I think this is probably the one of my designs, maybe. I don't know. So cute, Jill. Um, and then Jill sent me something else <laughs> that was in a plastic bag. And I think she had a, an idea that it might leak because she put it in the Ziploc bag. And guess what, Jill? It leaked. And so I haven't opened it, um, but it smells really good. I don't know what it is because it's in, it's wrapped in several layers, but I'm going to open it in the sink. <laughs> but it was funny that it, um, I mean, it, it really leaked, but it smells delicious. So I got to find out what it is. So anyway, Jill, thank you. What a, what a fun treasure box. You know, next year, my daughter's going to be away at college. So you guys are inspiring me. I need to like take pictures so I can remember these fun things that you guys send me because these would be great to send her. Okay, this one came from, oh, actually there's several people's things in here. Look at these, how cute. This was, she said it was an overdue um, million dollars. Congratulations, thank you, whatever. Peggy was very thoughtful. Um, she sent, look at this, look how cute. Well, I've, you know, when things go through the mail, they get kind of, kind of busted. Uh, but look how cute that is, look. And she has all these little goodies, look. That made me laugh. I should have put that in my suitcase. Um, <laughs> <laughs> love the lipstick pen. This is cute too. I've never seen this little size of tissues. It looks like maybe it's from um, Target Dollar Spot, but that's cute. And then this little thing, it's a little like a flashlight, really cute. Pineapple gum. I mean, you guys are so creative. And then there's this one. Look, it has, I don't know if Carla's on here. Carla and I, um, <laughs> we're trying to find cactus um, lip balms that were ma these made by the same company and she found a pineapple one isn't that cute and then this is definitely going in my purse and then what do we have here mango Mai Tai okay you guys I tried the Mai Tai wasn't a fan I was not a fan of the Mai Tai it was way sweet and guess what I really like sweet stuff I don't know I think maybe I just had too many sweet things and I couldn't I was like oh it was a very sweet but I tried it. <laughs> Anyways, thank you so much. Oh, there's also this cute little float um, that the can goes in. I, I should have had that in Hawaii. That would have come in very handy. So anyways, thank you. I love it all. Peggy, you're very, very thoughtful. Um, then Catherine sent me. She actually had asked me if I had gotten something in the mail a while back and I didn't get it. And so she resent this to me. Um, and there, I have to read her card. There are these little, I don't know, these little like ceramic, they're obviously little clay things that have been fired. And they, she says, um, the purple one is for Alzheimer's and the pink one represents my team. Look how cute, aren't they funny? And then the red one, let's see. The, no, red, the red one for you, for me. Okay, so red one is for me. Pink is for my team, purple is for Alzheimer's. And they have these cute little sayings on them, the story about them. So um, I, I don't, these, I've never seen these before. If you're interested in these, they're it's seedsofhappiness.com. Catherine, that was extremely thoughtful of you. Um, they're just so cute and funny, and I'm gonna put them on my desk. And I'm gonna think about you every time I look at them. I love it, it's probably, I didn't read the seed story, I need to read it, but um, they just are little, these little guys, I don't know, they're just so funny. Anyway, thank you. And then I got this beautiful card, look how beautiful this is. And I love the, when you guys put, you know, when you, um, I do this with my cards too, if you write your note on a piece of paper and then put it in there, they can reuse the card. I do it sometimes, I don't always do it, but thank you. Look at that beautiful card from Sherry. Um, she said, um, she was just thanking me for something, I can't remember, I, I don't, let's see. Thank you for all the goodies, yeah, and then wishing me a good time on my trip. So thank you. You guys are the most thoughtful people ever. Super thoughtful, I mean, thank you. You guys, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Very sweet, and it made coming home a whole lot easier. <laughs> because let me tell you, coming home was not easy. We did not want to leave. It was 
one of the best trips, if not the best trip we've ever had. Um, so anyway, okay, moving on. Paper pumpkin. I have a couple of these left. Um, if Vicki is on here or Karen, I got both of your payments today. Your paper pumpkins will be going out tomorrow. But I have, let me see, where did I put them? Four or five left. If you want this month's paper pumpkin, this is mine. I haven't used the kit, but I've already used the stamps. They go along with what we're using today, the hats off bundle. Um, and it's a great set masculine really good masculine set but here's the the actual kit looks like nine cards and uh a, a knight of navy stamp uh stamp and spot and everything you need is in there so if you're interested i have four or five of them they're 25 dollars that include shipping and um <laughs> oh my god you guys are making me laugh um email me please i won't see comments here email me if you would like a paper pumpkin okay Okay, let me move that out of the way. Um, with that being said, next month's kit is the one that coordinates with those beautiful <sighs> designer series paper in the annual catalog. I'm drawing a blank. Expressions in ink, is that what it's called, I think? Anyway, if you want it, look how beautiful that is. If you want that kit, make sure you subscribe um, before, I'm drawing a blank, before the 10th of June, and you'll get it, and it'll come straight to your house, okay? Okay. There's that. I'll have that link again. Now, here's something new that's coming out. Stampin' Up! has changed the way that they're doing their kits. Um, generally, our kits were in our catalog, right? And um, there would be two or three kits there. Well, they have reimagined their kit program, and now the kits are not in the catalog. They're going to be online only. And they're designed to be simple, to be, um, you know, one-stop shop. So it, they're great for, sorry, let me turn this fan down. They're great for people who don't want to buy a lot of stuff. Um, they're great for if you're getting, having a get together with friends. They are, there's two different kinds. The ones that include stamps will be, oh, now I'm, I'm questioning my pricing. I think they're $19. Uh, that, that may not be right. Oh, don't, no, I'm not going to, don't quote me on the, on the, um, on the price. 19 and 12, I think, but that, that may be wrong. They start next month, the beginning of next month. And I have two of them I wanted to show you. If you have been subscribing to Paper Pumpkin, you will recognize some of them. Some of them are reimagined Paper Pumpkin kits, which is great because sometimes there's a Paper Pumpkin kit that we loved and we want more of. Um, this one was really good. Um, and sometimes... We want a refill kit. They're not available or we missed it. We didn't get it. So anyway, some of them, I would say about two thirds of them, you'll recognize were paper pumpkin kits. Um, but the other ones are not. Um, and they come in these cute boxes that are like the paper pumpkin boxes. Um, what they're telling us about these is that if they're in stock, they'll be online. If they're not in stock, they will not be online. So we're not going to run into a situation where you wanted a kit and try to order it, it's back ordered, blah, 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 all that. If it's, if it's, if it runs out, it will disappear from the, from the website. Um, so it's a fun little, oh, this is the one that was so popular. It's a fun little program that would be great for get togethers for your kids this summer. If they like to do paper crafts, remember this one it was so cute. Um, the other thing I was going to say about this, other countries don't have paper pumpkin and they hate it because they all want paper pumpkin. So this is really awesome for other countries as well, um, because they can now buy these kits, um, when they weren't able to have access to them before. So anyways, some of them come with stamps in a spot. Some of them don't even include stamping. They're just like assembling, which would be great for kids, non-stampers, you know, family reunion, or maybe you're going camping. You want to take some things for everybody to do. Um, they would be really great. So be on the lookout for these next week. I will share the link once they are up. Um, they're on a regular product order. So if you're putting in an order, you can add them to your order. I love the boxes. I think the box is great. Okay, so that's that. I ordered some other ones too yesterday, but they haven't come yet. Okay, last announcement I've got to tell you because this is the last time I'm going to talk to you before the end of this join promotion. Right now, the starter kit is 
worth a lot more than it has been. It's $99. You guys, suddenly, like, I'm on vacation. My brain can't remember anything. I almost couldn't remember $99. What is wrong with me? I've been back to work for four days. I need to be back in the swing of things. But my brain is just like, no, go back to Hawaii. Um, okay, $99 and free shipping. What do you get in your $99 kit? Anything you want, anything you want that's from either of the catalogs or the clearance rack up to $155. Uh, normally it's $125 and right now it's $155 for just $99. Um, you, again, you can pick anything. When I bought my starter kit... 12 years ago, it was a list of things that I chose from. Um, I had to get four different colors of ink, so many uh, ink pads, I mean, um, stamp sets. Now they just say, pick whatever you want because they know not everybody wants to turn this into a business. Um, a lot of us who buy the starter kit just want to support our craft and get a discount. And that's totally fine. So if you have a lot of things on your wish list, if you've been thinking about it, you want to take advantage of this deal before the end of May. And I printed out, I know you guys can't read this. I printed out the list of benefits after you buy the starter kit. I'm going to, I'm just going to read them off to you real fast. Um, this is at the top of my blog. There is a join link. And if you hit that join, it's a tab or button up at the top, it'll have all this for you. So after you buy the starter kit, you're going to get 20% discount. You have the potential to earn up to 38% of your sales. Early and exclusive access to new products. That's my favorite. So we, we get you know access to the holiday catalog before it comes out. We get sneak peeks. We get to order things early. That's, to me, one of the biggest perks. Um, opportunity to earn free product through various incentives. Uh, qualify for cash bonuses, free product, incentive trips, and more. Now, remember, that comes with a lot of hard work. A lot. You guys know how much I work. You can do that if you want. You can make that a business. You can work. I will help you. I, I do trainings for my team. Or you can just buy the starter kit. I don't want anybody to feel like you have to do what I do. You do not. And, and it's okay. I hear people say, oh, I'm, I'm just a hobby demo. Well, don't say that because we love all of our demos the same. Um, whether you are buying it to support your habit, like some of us, or you buy it to maybe make a little bit of money. Also, when you buy the starter kit from me, you're going to be part of my team. Um, we have monthly get togethers. It says in Texas, but for the last year, we've had those via Zoom. And even when we are local, we, we are via Zoom. We've been doing Zoom way before Zoom was cool, let me tell you, for several years. Um, we do uh, four or five make and takes every month. Uh, we have contests. I give away tons of prizes. Um, I do all of that for, via Facebook Live or Zoom. Um, you have support from me. I do trainings. You get a free quarterly training from me. Um, you also get bi-monthly, uh, what I call business builders trainings, if you want them, um, free class planners. So let's say you do want to hold a class, you get all my PDFs for free and you can use those as classes. You can also use what we, what I give you during our team meeting for classes, we have a team Facebook page. We have monthly creative challenges where you can earn prizes, monthly swapping. And yeah, even if you're not in Texas, you can do all of this. You know, that's the beauty of technology. You get promotion, locket, necklace, and charms when you promote from me, um, business builders, and discounted class to go kits. That's a big one too. So free PDFs and di deeply discounted class kits. All right, so that's all of it. I just wanted to give you one more little spiel to make sure you don't miss out on it. $99 free shipping, um, and you pick out $155 of product of your choice. And then you get to be on my team for at least, let's see, I can never think of, it's at least three months, but usually it's not until the second quarter after you join. And I think this is, what is this? June, July, August, September. So I think... I don't know. I can't ever remember what the quarters are, but you have at least <laughs> three months, maybe more. I Because I am on vacation. Apparently my brain isn't working. But anyway, if you have questions about that, let me know. I will be happy to answer your questions. I'm going to be doing a little bit of work this weekend um, just because I am 
I need to catch up on some things <laughs> from being gone. So I will be checking my email this weekend. Don't let that pass you by, uh, that deal, because that's a really, really good deal. Stampin' Up! only does that kind of deal about once a year with a starter kit. So that's that. Okay. Thank you for your shares, Debbie. Let's do prizes. Last week's winners, I or two weeks ago's winners, are Nidhi, Nidia, Nidia, Nidia? Detrell, sorry, I probably butchered that. And Sherry Wilson. I think I might have your address, Nydia, but Sherry, I'm not sure. Anyway, to make this faster and for me to not have to dig, please message me your address and I will be happy to send you these as a thank you for sharing my video, okay? This week I've got three. And the spring catalog is going to retire at the end of June. So next week, we're going to talk about the retired list. Some things are going to go on sale next month from that catalog, and things are going to go while supplies last during that for that catalog next month. Um, so anyway, these are from that catalog. That's why I'm saying that. Um, so I will pick three winners next week. So if you share the video on Facebook, leave me a little comment. Let me know if you want hot dog or oh snap or either. Okay, and I'll pick three winners next week. I do appreciate that, you guys. It does help me find new customers. All right, we made it here, and my stuff is across the room. Let me bring it all the way over and clear off my space. If you haven't joined me for Facebook Friday, oh man, I talked for a long time. Oh my gosh. If you haven't joined me for Facebook Friday before, welcome. I pick a product. Each week, typically, this week we're doing the hats off bundle, and then we do three projects. So it's kind of like a class, and my classes, uh, my card classes here locally um, were free with a purchase. So that's what this class is. It's a free with a purchase class. If you put in an order by Monday at midnight, oh, I forgot to print out my thing, my host code. If you put your order in by Monday at midnight, I will send you today's make and takes for free next week. They come, they look like this. I send you everything that you need, including embellishments. Um, what you will need is are the stamps and the dies, these two. I will die cut everything else for you. And your ink and adhesive. I don't do any stamping, but I will score, punch, all of that for you. And they come and they look like that. And then I send you a little thank you tag, okay? But your order has to be in by Monday at midnight and it has to be at least $35. And it needs to use this host code. I usually have it right here and I forgot today. So this PDF that shows you the three projects is over at pinkbuckaroo.com under the last photo. It's free. Um, you can grab it, print it, save it, whatever. The host code is there. It's also on the blog post and I'll put it in the description of today's video. Whew. All right, we are ready. Here we go. Let's see. Okay, so why do I love this bundle? Well, I think it's because of the stitching on the dies. Honestly, I am a sucker for the stitching, you guys. I love when something has stitching on it. So as soon as I started playing with this, I was like, oh gosh, this is so cute. You know, I have three girls, so I don't need a lot of masculine projects, but when I do, I, you know, you need them. Um, so this is perfect. I have seen so many different ways to use this hat. We're going to use it mostly as a baseball hat today, but, um, a camo hat, a, uh, you know, I mean, just the end, the possibilities are endless. So I love it. I think you'll love it too. Have any of you gotten it? And you know what? It's $35. The bundle is 30. That's as far as our bundles go, very inexpensive. And that's exactly the amount you need to get the make and takes for free. So, hmm. now if you've already ordered, ordered it, of course, just order whatever you want. Now, okay, this card, this card, look, <laughs> it's my dad's birthday card. I stole it back from him. I'm gonna get it back, calm down. But I was like, hey, dad, can I borrow that card back? Because I wanna make it for Facebook Friday. <laughs> So that was the actually one of the first things I made from my new products. Um, so that's what we're going to do. And I'm going to show you how to do this really cool background. Um, once again, we're using the blending brushes. And I'm going to show you. Let's see. Let me get situated. I got all my stuff here. And I'm suddenly dying of thirst. 
you know, I don't talk all day and then, and then I do Facebook Friday and I am like, oh, so many words. Okay, we're going to start with, I've got all the pieces ready and apparently a piece of my hair in there. Uh, we're going to start with a piece of basic white. That is four by five and a fourth. I'm bringing out my trusty post-it tape. Carla, um, thanks for asking. It, not great. He, um, he is not doing great, unfortunately. He's having, you know, issues. Un unfortunately, because he had to get on some heart medication, he had to stop some other medication that was really helping him. And it's, it's just not been fun <laughs> seeing your parents age and go through that is just not fun but thanks for asking okay this is a homemade mask and all it is is a actually it's not even a window sheet i took the plastic from my stamps you know when you buy your stamps they come and all your stamps are over here on this plastic sheet it's just loose and then now they have the images here so you can put them all in here so i've started keeping these plastic pieces to make a mask if you don't have any of these look around look in your trash you probably have some plastic from something else um or you can use our window sheets and i just took my scissors and just cut a V. That's all I did. And if you want to see exactly how I did that, you can go over to my YouTube channel and I have a clean recording of this project and I cut it on that video. Okay. It's not that hard. All right. So I'm using my post-it tape, got everything stuck down and I'm going to use Daffodil Delight. One thing that will help you with this is to make sure that your ink pad is juicy. If your ink pad needs to be inked, with your ink refill, it's gonna take you a lot longer and you're not gonna get as vivid as a, as this. A vivid, a, what is wrong with me? You're not gonna get as vivid a color as this. Maybe I need a Mai Tai. <laughs> My, that's, that's the problem. Nine days in Hawaii and then I come home and yeah, that's probably the problem. All right, so I've turned it to go this way, we're just gonna keep turning the stencil. Um, and we're gonna do some overlapping. First I did the center, now I'm doing the right, and now I'll do the left. Like this. How many weeks in a row have we used the blending brushes? I think like six weeks. <laughs> I love the blending brushes. They're so good. Transparencies, Carla, I don't think everybody knows what a transparency is. I think that's a teacher thing. Do, does everybody know what a transparency is? Don't, I don't think I would. Like, I don't think my husband would know what a transparency is. When, do you guys remember when you go to school and your teacher had that box, that machine with the, the light? So then she would put a clear thing down on it and write on it and it would show it on the wall. That's the, the film is called a transparency. And the funny thing is they don't use those anymore. I and I think that's, I still use them when I was teaching seven years ago, but at the time things were transitioning over to like an Elmo, you know, where you use your, your iPad and then it projects onto the, the, um, the wall or the screen or whatever. Times are changing, but transparencies are fun. My kids love to play with the transparency machine. Do you guys know what they are? If you're not a teacher, do you know what they are? Do you guys remember them from when you were a student? Um, I just feel like that's such a teacher thing, transparency. <laughs> when I first started teaching, we had that, oh, what was it called? That machine, it wasn't a copy machine. It was, um, the paper would come out wet. What is that called? Just like the very first couple of years that I was teaching. Um, we had a copy machine, but we also had that machine. I can't remember what it was called. Somebody's going to know. All right, I'm almost done. I'm going to do one more here. And see, I just overlapped them as I went. Does anybody remember what that machine was called? You can buy transparencies off supply stores, but they're very expensive. I bet they are, Jody, because I remember them being expensive. Mimeograph. I think that is right, Sandy. Mimeograph, mimeograph, something like that. Yes, and you made like a like a double-sided carbon copy or something, and then you put it in the machine, it would roll through, and it smelled funny. It smelled, 
I can't remember. Did it smell good? Did it smell bad? I can't remember. <laughs> I just remember I liked it because it was different. But that was only probably the first couple of years, like 1999, 19, 2000. Those were the first couple of years I was teaching. <laughs> now, even the transparency machine is out of date. Okay, now we've got a basic black card base. And I'm going to put this piece here. Oh, am I out of adhesive? Maybe. And I'm going to use pattern party designer series paper which again I think I have used every single week for the last few weeks what's happening here am I out okay hold on let me grab another one I go through more adhesive I think there must be less adhesive on these than there was on uh oh, what was that adhesive that we used now what is wrong with me I can't remember any words today and look my paper's not even long enough to go across but we're going to pretend like it is. <laughs> um, fast Fuse, that's what it was called. Okay, so we've got that. Um, on the inside, we're going to do the same thing. We're going to put a piece of basic white because when you have a dark card base, it's hard to write on a card dark base. Card, oh, dark card base. I need a translator today. Good grief. Overhead projectors, yes, Catherine, yes, transparency machine. I, I guess I would call the overhead. All right, now this piece on the inside, I'm gonna adhere like a pocket so we could put a gift card in there. I gave my dad a Dairy Queen gift card. <laughs> That's what he wanted, Dairy Queen gift card. Same as Fast Fuse, Catherine, it feels like there's less. I go through it a lot faster than Fast Fuse, I mean, than Fast Fuse for some reason. All right, let's stamp that big baseball hat i can't wait for you guys to see how cute this is when it when we cut it out my um stamp is stained red i'm not sure why but it looks like it still has ink on it it doesn't okay so we're going to cut that out oh we also need to do the um patch up on his hat yeah, you guys, I, I'm sorry, I underestimated you. You're all like, we know what transparency is. Yeah, if you work in a school, you could probably get them for free, just, you know. <laughs> Although, if I remember correctly, they were hard to come by because they were expensive. And we had to reuse them over and over again. All right, I'm using the mini cut and emboss machine today because these dies fit beautifully in the mini. Um, if you're wondering which dies fit in the mini, there are little uh, round icons on the dies in the catalog that show you. It'll say, I think it's just a little circle that says mini. So if you only have a mini, you'll know which dies you can buy and uh, which ones won't fit. I will say, I think about maybe three fourths of our dies will fit in the mini. It's a lot. There aren't too many that don't fit in the mini. Too many in the mini. Okay, so I've got one star, and look. Look at the stitching. How stinking cute. I mean, come on. So cute. I have another project for Monday that I am going to show you guys. I'll post on Monday. I used our new linen sheets. Our linen, what's it called? Linen sheets, I think. It's paper, linen paper, and it's like fabric. And I stamped the hat on that and it looks so cool. Okay, now these, all of these little patches that go on the hat, they have the matching dies. There's one to cut it out. Oh, I should have done this differently. Let's do this differently. There's one to cut it out and then there's this one in the middle that does the stitching. Okay, so you can do it without Let's see if I can get that on there. There we go. So you can do it without if you don't want to do the stitching. <laughs> Patricia, you don't have this set yet. Come on. It's super cute. It's very, very cute. Okay, so the, see that one even has a stitching. All right, now where's my, I need my bowl. Let's use my bowl. In honor of our crafter solution, friends. Let's put that on there. Oh, and you know what? Oh no. 
in my next project, no, my last project, I left the Rick Rock off of that project in my video. So if you go to watch the clean recording of that, you'll see it, but it's not this one. I'm going to remember to do this one. Basic black. And I think I told you guys last time, I bought two sets of these basic border dies. You could just have one. So you would run it through and then flip the die and run it through again. But I don't want to do that. So I bought two <laughs> so that I could just, you know what? I think we're going to need a piece of tape so that I could just do like this. And one is good if you just need an, needing an edge, right? Like you don't need the actual double-sided rickrack like this. And guess what? It's also stitched. This die is also stitched. Yeah, Stampin' Up! is like, what can we put stitching on that Erica will love? And then they add it to everything, and I love it. All right. We're almost there. We're almost there. God, today we're going to run so late. Oh, my gosh. So late. Ah. It wouldn't matter, except that I got to go to the vet. Pepper has allergies. And she's. I came home from Maui, and she's all itchy and got bumps on her and stuff. And she gets a shot every two months and we are I guess we're past due okay there we go we've got our little rick rack border we're going to take our hat and put our patch right there with a dimensional of course and then we're going to take two more and put them on here like that Okay, now I need a bigger piece of white. That little tiny scrap of white is not gonna cut it. Let me grab another piece of white. The sentiment that I used, I wanted to make a little flag and I didn't really like any of the sentiments in the set for a flag. They just weren't quite right. So I pulled out Happiest of Birthdays and we're gonna use this one, but we're gonna mask it off so that we don't get that funky rectangle around it. And I'm gonna just take pieces of my post-it tape. How many of you have gotten post-it tape and started using it and love it? Just post a mask off, which you don't want inked. Yeah, you know, Catherine, she's had them from the day she came home. She's super itchy and we've had it literally rained every single day while I was gone the grass is like three feet high so <laughs> I have a feeling you know that all has something to do with it all right now take that off don't forget to take that off because if you stamp with that on there it's not going to be pretty all right there we've got that now I'm just going to get my trimmer you love post-it tape, Tammy? It's awesome. You can get it at your office store, I think, if you're running around, or you can get it on Amazon. I have linked it today so that you can find it easy. The one I linked today has two rolls for whatever the price is. And post-it notes are expensive. Oh, gosh, it sounded like my phone just turned off. Okay, I think I'm getting carried away. I keep cutting more and more, but it looks like it's not straight. There we go. Now, I'm gonna punch the end of our flag like that. I've got a part of a skewer somewhere here. I just cut a skewer um, in, in thirds, really. It's not even half. And you could use a toothpick or I don't know what else little I have just I have a drawer full of wooden little dowel not they're not dowels because they're skinny you know the little uh, like the long you can get the longer toothpicks if you do like a fondue I have those and um I guess they're skewers that you put through you know the long ones you guys know I, I have no words today I can't think of anything all right, put that on with a dimensional. And then we're gonna take one of these little stars. Let's put a mini dimensional on that. But before we put this on, I'm gonna add a bow with our basic black twine. 
The flat toothpick picks work really good for that, Carla. You know, I don't think I have any of those. I need to go to the Dollar Tree. Somebody emailed me this week and told me the Dollar Tree has tie-dyed Hershey Kisses. Got to check that out. And I got to, I'm going to, I don't know exactly what we're going to do next week, but I know I want to use a little space set soon. And so I need to go find some space themed candy. I was thinking maybe next week of going back to the, what did I do with it? Is it stuck to something? It is. No, it, look, it's stuck to my finger. Um, I was thinking about going back to the spring catalog. There's a couple of things in there that we haven't done before it all goes away. The little woodland, what are they called? Wood, woodland, you know, the little tree, the long tree with the critters. That's cute. That would be fun. I don't know. I don't have, I don't have a plan. All right. Ta-da. We're done with card number one. I got to set this one aside so I can give it back to my dad. Okay. So there you go. If you don't need something for your dad, just change that. There's so many choices here. You know, there's generic things. There's, and, and the dyes have like little mascot type things too. So there's that. Okay, you guys like it? Isn't it cute? Um, Robin, we did flamingos already. We did flamingos a few weeks ago. And they were cute. You'll have to go back and watch them. I used the Key Lime Kit Kats. Very, very cute. Um, the Space Set Project, Sherry. Oh, Sherry, uh, you won last week's prize. I hope, hope you were here at the beginning. Message me. Your twin grandsons love anything space. You know who else loves anything space? Is my middle daughter. She's become obsessed with space. So I was excited to see that. All right, next project. Just so happens to be another gift card holder. I don't know how I ended up with two gift card holders this week. And this one, you may say, Erica, that those are weird colors. Okay, if you're from Texas, you'll know. Well, I guess if you're from anywhere and you're a baseball fan. These are the Houston Astros, my husband's favorite team. And so I made this for Father's Day for him. There is a shirt that you can get. It's my favorite shirt. I always want, like look at the fans, you know, all the different shirts, and it's my favorite one. And it's like an ombre like this. And um, it's very retro. So that was kind of what popped in my mind. I'm going to do like a retro um ombre background with our navy hat. Sherry, you can message me through Facebook. Yeah, mm -hmm, sure. That's fine. Email's the best, but um, Facebook, I, I will know since you said I'll know to look on Facebook too. Okay. Um, anyhow, let's get started on this. So, oh, I didn't even show you what it does. Look, Ta -da. it's like a fancy fold. Isn't that neat? It slides in and out. Fun. So this one has a ton of pieces, like a ton. <laughs> so make sure, I'm not going to yell at all the measurements, make sure that you get this PDF off my blog today. Look at all those measurements. They're all there, okay? It's not real complicated, it just has lots of pieces. Basic four and a fourth by 11. We've scored it at three and a half and nine, actually like this, okay? I mean, that's, it's just a, a regular card base. We're going to, let's do the ombre design. Pepper, what was that? She made a weird noise. Um, I'm starting with Cajun Cray's background. That'll save me one strip that I don't have to cut. Here it is, my adhesive. And we're going to start at the top. Now, guys, if you're not Astros fan, that's totally okay. Change this to whatever colors you want. Or, or just do a piece of designer series paper. You don't have to do this. Um, you know, or you can if you love the Astros like we do. All right, so I'm going to stop with start with Pale Papaya. Robin, that's funny what you said. I saw it go by a minute ago. She says, I wasn't even in Hawaii and I forgot. It's the end of the year craziness, I tell you. Um, pale Papaya, Mango Melody, Pumpkin Pie. And then look, we have our Cajun Craze already there. So then the reason I made the strips longer is so that I could just cut them off straight. This Cajun Craze piece is five inches by four. And then we're going to cut it to, let me look at my notes. 
I lost my notes. It's not in my notes. I need to write, did I not write that down? I didn't. So we need to cut it at, this little section is two. So we need to cut it at one and so, hold please. Three and a half, it'll be three. Let me look at my notes. I didn't put that on there. I don't want to cut it too short. See, I have this little notebook. This is where I write everything down. Let's see. Did I not write it down? I wrote, you know where I wrote it? Let me show you this time. That's why I have a notebook because I will write it down on, it's not even on here. I'll write it down on grid paper and then I lose the grid paper like today. Okay, we're gonna cut it down to, let me see, it is four. So we're gonna do, I'll add it to the notes, hold on. It's three and three fourths, so we'll do three and a half. And then what will that leave that? Four and a half, five. That doesn't sound right. Why is this not, why? Oh, you know what, just measure this. Oh my gosh, Erica. It is one and three fourths. Good grief. Make things more difficult. So cut it at one and three fourths. <laughs> I'm gonna call my husband and say, grab some Mai Tais on the way home. <laughs> We went, somebody recommended Monkey Pod. Who recommended Monkey Pod? We went there the first night. And I, it was the first day, so I had been eating and drinking all day. So by that point, I was, bleh, you know, like when you're on vacation and you just kind of over, overeat. And that's kind of how we were that night. But it was good. It was fun. It was an over an hour wait. All right. Hey, Michelle. Okay. Now we've got those. <laughs> Remember, one and three fourths. Um, we're going to put those on here. I'm trying to think the best food we had when we were there was at a place down on Front Street called Fleetwoods. Has anybody eaten there? It's delicious. And that night we were there, John Travolta and Bruce Willis were there filming a movie. We did not see them, unfortunately, but still exciting nonetheless, right? Okay. <laughs> Night of Navy. There were lots of celebrities in Maui. I had no idea. Lots and lots of celebrities in Maui. Okay. When we make a pocket for something, you want to use a thin little line of adhesive. And you guys know how I am with my adhesive. So guess what? We're going to use a staple. I'm going to put a staple on either side. And you can cover it up with your designer series paper, or you can just leave it. And who cares? It's a staple. Staples are embellishments in scrapbooking but let's see yep we can cover it up depending on how far in you go this is the paper pumpkin pie paper from the regals hey Belinda um, and now we folded that up that's our gift card pocket we're gonna fold this one back and we're gonna put adhesive there and then under this top section we're gonna put it right here we want to make sure that it's straight and that it's evenly proportioned like that and then you're just going to lay that down and it's going to pick that up and then this one is going to be the little pocket that it slides in and out of and I'm going to do the staple thing here as well and I'm actually going to slide my little stapler underneath that paper there you can't even see it the first one I made I did not use staples I used glue and it was a mess you guys know how I am with my liquid glue. I just make a mess. Okay, let's see. Doop, doop. Isn't that fun? This is a really cool construction. You saw Loretta Swift in Maui, Debbie? How funny. There was rumor at our hotel that Adam Levine was there. And so you can imagine everybody was all in a tizzy. Um, but um, <laughs> never saw him. There was also a guy from Grey's Anatomy. Do you guys watch Grey's Anatomy? I do not. It's, I mean, how many years has it been on? I used to watch it like 20 years ago, but haven't, anyway, I haven't watched it any time recently. There was a guy who, um, it was the guy that got killed off recently, like in March. So if you watch Grey's Anatomy, you'll probably know who that is. He was there and he was not very nice. There's uh, several stories about him in the pool and somebody took a picture of him and he yelled and got ugly. Oh, 
Look, I didn't clean my stamp. See what happens when I'm talking? Look at that. Oh well. All right, it'll be fine. Mem uh, not Memento, Craft White on Navy. And we're gonna emboss with white. Oh, Donna, you need this set, it is so cute. I was thinking, you know, like for summer, like 4th of July, it's just, if you have a athlete, of course, or even just guys in general, this would be good. But but for summer too, I think it would make a great little summer type. For some reason, I'm having issues with all that embossing powder. I didn't use my embossing buddy. Okay. Close that up. Let's get our heat tool and heat it up. This one is, seems complicated with like 20 pieces, but I think this is the easiest one. Was this character nice, Rhonda? Because he was not nice. Sandy, are you on the Pink Buckaroo group page or the Pink Buckaroo designs business page? I think you have to be in the group to share, depending on how it popped up. I know, it's weird. But you can, I will give you points for trying. <laughs> Shared just went out. The video, how weird. Yeah, I know. Somebody I watch always says, get it together, Mark. Fix it, Mark. You know, speaking of FB's owner, creator. I won't say his name because then they'll flag me. Okay. Hopefully that we got that done. You will know that it's done when it turns a little shiny. Um, I think that's the only thing we need to cut out. So we'll bring this over here like this. And, uh, where it is? Oh, hello, over here. I'm reading comments. I saw some cards yesterday that used a spiral dye background stamp and then stamped hay on to make a cute tie dye card hat. <gasps> uh, oh, look, look what happened. I wasn't done. Hold on. Hold on. I was trying to rush. Maybe too late. Um, That does sound cute, Karen. And then Brenda says, you convinced me to get this set. You could use for female cards too. Totally. I saw somebody. Darn it. I did screw this up. Oh, well, we're going with it. Um, I saw somebody. You know that like blingy baseball hats that some women wear? I saw somebody make a hat that looked like that. It was cute. It was very cute. I've seen lots of things that were kind of out of the box. Um, somebody stamped, and I really wanted to do a camo hat because I always ask my husband, can you think of something, you know, that uses like space candy? Last night we were laying in bed on our phones and that's what I asked him, space candy. And he always has great ideas. But he was, he said right off the bat, camo, you need a camo hat. So there's a piece of DSP in that new, um, paper pack we have you know the trees it's kind of fallish looking there's a piece in there that you could use that looks like camo there's um you know what was I just using the back of the peach paper that I have right here I bet that would look like camo too what do you guys think maybe and then I saw somebody else use the little um you know like ink swash image from the little Lipstick purse set that I can't remember the name of right now to make a camo is cute. Okay, pretending like I didn't screw the tip of the brim up. Here's a star that I've cut out from Designer Series Paper, the Pumpkin Pie DSP from the Regals Pack again. And you'll see this other star up here. I actually cut the two stars at the same time. And I'm going to use the other one. On the inside so we're going to take these this is the label from the hippos dies and i'm putting the little stitched flags on the end from tasteful labels yes debbie the retired camo set i did actually look because i i couldn't when he said that i looked do we still have the camo stamp no we don't okay now i'm going to put this over here like this so it's kind of over hanging and you could put a little magnet or velcro but I don't really think it needs it. Okay, last thing. Uh-oh. 
Something's happening. The dogs are barking. All right, to the guy that wears many hats. I like that sentiment. That is Knight of Navy. Does the cap die and boss? Yes, Deb, it does the, the little stitching. I'll show you, I'll hold it up again. That's my favorite part. It does the little stitching at the same time, which is brilliant. No, it's not UPS. They've actually been here already today. <laughs> um, yes, that Cynthia, Dress to Impress. That was the stamp set. I couldn't remember the name of it. Dress to Impress. That has the little, what do you call those? A swash, you know, like a ink swash. Um, and then you can just stamp it all over with different kinds of greens and browns, and it'll look camo. All right, our little star frame from the same paper. We're gonna put that right there. That's a ticket label from the Tasteful Labels. And last but not least, we will put that right there in the center. And let's get our gift card out and put it in right there and then close it. Happy Father's Day. Now I've got three of them. Yay, This mm, I think this is my favorite. I think this is my favorite project today. I like the first one a lot too, but I think this one's my favorite just because it's got my Houston Astros on it. All right, one more, one more. I hope you guys like this. This uh, gift card design holder, this gift card holder design, <laughs> um, I need a nap, um, is really cool. I've never made this before and I definitely am gonna make it again because it's not difficult and it has really big wow factor. I All right, good, you guys liked it. Let me move this over here, and then we're gonna make the next one. Now the next one is a 3D. You know I have to make a 3D, and I bought Cracker Jacks, and I bought Big League Gum. Well, here are the Cracker Jacks. That's gonna be my Monday project, okay? You'll see these on my blog on Monday. Um, that's that linen fabric paper. What is it called, linen specialty paper? Um, and then whoever asked just a minute ago, I'm sorry, I forgot who asked. Does it emboss? Yes, look, it puts those lines. So cool. All right, this is what we're going to make. And it has the magnet to hold it closed, and it's Big League Chew. Now, this is just your standard <laughs> package. And, you know, I was looking on Amazon today to get the link to share with you guys, and there's one that has a girl on it. And I forgot about that. I've seen it before because my daughter played softball for a long time. So if this could be for a girl or a boy. You could get two different ones. It doesn't matter. But what kid doesn't love a pack of Big League Chew? Now, I have folded it down, and I even folded the corners in just to make it go in. But I don't know. I didn't like the corner sticking out. Maybe it looks weird. But that's how it goes, and it's just a little clasp like that. You could put candy in here or whatever if you didn't want to do a gum. All right, let's make this. This one's actually pretty easy. this and we're going to start with 11 by 7 Knight of Navy and the measurements the score lines are right here so you can pull that PDF up all right let's see <laughs> I'm reading your message, your comments. Y'all are making me laugh. All right, on the short side, let's do the short side first. Three fourths of an inch from both sides. So three fourths and six and a fourth. And then on the long side, we're going to do two, two and three fourths, seven and a fourth, and eight. All right, when you take it off of your simply scored, that first score line over here, that section, you can see how it's smaller than this section. This is the lid and this is the, the bottom, okay? So just remember the lid is skinnier. Now I'm gonna use my scissors and up here on the lid, we're gonna cut off both of these little sections right here, okay? <laughs> Sorry, Sharon. <laughs> how could you guys not like this set? Oh my gosh. It's so cute. You know, that's how it is a lot of times for me too. I see a set and I'm like, meh. But then I start seeing projects online and I'm like, oh my gosh, I have to have it. Oh, Pepper agrees. All right, so cut these score lines here in the middle, cut the corners off like 
like that of the middle tab. What? I'm not talking to you. <laughs> I'm not talking to you. No. I'm talking to my friend on the computer. She, she's like, you're weird. Now, over here on the lid, I'm going to put these, I'm going to adhere these down um, first before I assemble the box. I just think it's a little bit easier. Six grandsons. Yeah, Lisa, you got to have this set for sure. I don't have any boys and I still needed this set. Now, this piece of basic white, let me make sure I'm stamping the right one because I have two that are very similar. Does this one fit here? Yes. Okay, this one, um, we're going to just use a little star from the stamp set and I'm just going to make my own little designer series paper. See this one I was full on like Memorial Day, 4th of July, summer. It's the end of little league season. So this would be a cute, you know, you could make these for the team. I don't think it's too difficult to make maybe 10 of them. And then big league chew is pretty cheap, right? I don't remember how much that one was. I added it to my grocery delivery order while I was on the plane coming home. So, <laughs> You know, we took a red eye home. Why? Why almost all the flights out of Maui were left at 10 o'clock at night? I'm not a fan of that. I do not sleep well on a plane at all. Most of us probably can say that. So I made my grocery list. Okay. Now fold it all in. We also, I also, where's my bone folder? I also was thinking about doing gra graduation theme. Facebook Friday. Is it too late to do that? My daughter graduates week after next Sunday, the 6th. I don't know. I'm not feeling very inspired with that. But I know some of you have asked me for vacation. I mean, for, I'm reading your comment, Robin. Um, some of you have asked me for graduation projects. We don't really have much current product right now for graduation. I wish we had a graduation specific set. Okay, so I've put Tombow on the outside of those middle squares, those tabs, and I'm gonna squeeze them up into the sides that are longer. Okay, like that. Then I'm gonna do put Tombow on the inside of these tabs, the shorter tabs, and it's just going to wrap around and squeeze that. Okay. It's kind of like a hug. <laughs> all right. So squeeze it all like that. Now you could leave those sides on there, but I didn't like those. Maybe you should. I don't know. I, I cut them off. So I'm going to do a diagonal from the back corner to the front, like that, diagonal. Okay, this one from the front to the back. And then that closes down like that. All right, we're going to put a little magnet there. All right, let's do our baseball hat this time. I had my high school team in mind for some reason. And we're gonna do red and white. Where did my chamois go? Hold on, gotta clean this. I had it over here so that I wouldn't do what I did. New chamois, I mean, what's, what's prettier than <laughs> new chamois? Although it looks like I've used them all already. I know, stupid, but I like a new chamois. All right, but, uh, real red on basic white and real red on real red. And I'm gonna, I was thinking, I don't know about my high school. My husband was plays, played baseball in high school. So I've seen, you know, I have lots of pictures of him wearing his baseball uniform. So I was thinking about our high school hat and that's what I went with, with a, a red and a white hat. I'm looking for my navy. I guess it's on my other board. So again, just change the colors to make them work for you. Whatever. Oh, look, do you guys do that? Stick your thumb in your ink. Ugh. 
Well, at least it happened at the end, and now you guys don't have to look at my inky fingers the rest for only a few more minutes. Um, so, like, if I was going to make it for my daughter's high school, our, our neighbor, the little girl, well, she's not a little girl, she's 18 now, she and Ellie have grown up together across the street. She is a softball player. Um, she actually got a full ride to Appalachian State to play softball. She's a catcher. Um, but anyway, if I was going to make this for her, I would use the O'Connor High School colors, which are navy and gold. Now, this one, remember, the little one in the middle is for stitching. And the one on the outside will actually cut it out. I love to hear that, Elizabeth. You're like the 10th person to say that. You didn't love this set, but I am changing your mind. You know, I really prefer, these are the kind of images I prefer. Black line with no little scratch, scratch marks, no shade, you know, shading marks, just open black line images that are simple. That's the kind I prefer. We all have our preferences, but I am always gravitating towards these. Oh, hello, hello, come back. Chamois are good for wiping fingers. They are, Betty. They sure are. They sure are. I came home and my chamois were all dried out. It was like I hadn't been stamping for nine days. <laughs> I usually stamp six days out of the week, typically. So that was funny. I was like, oh my gosh, it went dry. Usually I just, I don't know. Last, it feels like it lasts longer than that. Maybe it doesn't. Okay, so now we've got the red, and I don't like how I cut that out. That did not cut out very well. I wasn't paying attention. What did I do? Do, 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 do? Where did it go? Where is it? It's here somewhere. Oh, here it is. Okay, good. I didn't cut that out very well. I couldn't remember if I did a white bill or red bill. We're going to do a white bill, and then you won't see that my die slipped. Um. I'm gonna take my scissors right here and I'm gonna stay just on the left side of that red line. Okay. And we're gonna put the bill on here. Um, Shelly, yes, you're right. Dawn dish detergent works well. You know what else works well is coconut oil. Coconut oil works really well. Also on spray paint or um, oil-based paint. Have you ever gotten that on your fingers or your, Whenever I'm painting, I get, like painting a room, I end up with paint on my legs, on my face. <laughs> and coconut oil is really good. It'll take that off. All right, there's our super duper cute hat. Let's bring this over. And I have cut out a star. I always know it's a third project because I can't find anything. This is, can you guys see this? This is the new... I can never remember the name. Let me give you the correct name. Gold Metallic Specialty Paper. It comes in gold and rose gold, and it comes in a six by six pack. They're six by six pieces. And it's beautiful. It's almost like a, like a brushed gold. It's really pretty. Anyway, that's new, and I really like it. So we're going to put this star hanging off. Let's see, I have one end that it looks like I cut short, so we're going to hide that end like that. And then we're going to put our baseball hat. Clorox, Clorox wipes work well also. Does that not irritate your skin, Rhonda? Oh, you're probably talking. No, you are. That's what we're talking about, right, on your skin? All right, put that there. Now, I have these. Oh, and I forgot to add the link to these on my blog. I need to add because you guys are always asking. If I don't put it there, you guys, there's an Amazon tab at the top of my blog that has all the things I use from Amazon, and this, these are there. These are the little button magnets that I love. They're very inexpensive. You get like 100 for less than $10. Um, typically, what I find is that Tombow or even hot glue, oh, goodness, no, there we go. Tombow or hot glue work well. Also, two, I don't know why, but two blue dots work well. Not as well as the others, but two blue dots stacked kind of like that. Put it right there. 
fold these really well. Now, we gotta fold this down, making sure that it's square. Nope, that's too far down. There we go, just like that. Let me make sure, okay. Now, I'm gonna squeeze that. You could use a Velcro, Velcro, you know, little circles. See that? I love these magnets. I think they do better than the Velcro. The Velcro, I feel like, comes off. Yeah, I um, I don't have sensitive skin either, Rhonda. I'll have to try that. Gets it off your nails. Ooh, that's good to know. All right, so see how that opens and closes? Now let's let's get the big leaf chew and put it in there. I only have one. Usually I buy three so that I can make all three, but I only have one. Okay, last but not least, we need to put our twine. What time is it? Okay, we still have time. I'm gonna take twine, fold it in half, and tie a double bow. I want it kind of messy, kind of loose like that. And then, hey, you guys, have you ordered glue dots from Stampin' Up! lately? Because they have been coming backwards on the roll. And I didn't think it was that big of a deal, but it is driving me crazy. I don't know if it's a Stampin' Up! Yeah, because they are Stampin' Up!, right? They said, I read somewhere that they're just trying it out, but I don't like it. I need to tell them. I actually have been unrolling my glue dots and rolling them back the other way. <laughs> okay, there we go. I feel like I'm forgetting something. Am I forgetting something? That's it. Like I didn't put, I didn't put a sentiment or anything. I just put that little go team. Very generic. So cute. You know, these would be great. Fourth of July. What could you put there? You could put um, just a star. What do we have? Oh, the little tree is cute. Tree, the lightning bolt, the, the buffalo, the fish. Maybe that's for a hunting or like a outdoors hat. Anyway, so cute, you guys. So cute. Now, if you don't want to see the stuff I got in Maui, you can just leave after I tell you all this. But make sure you stay if you want to see my stuff from Maui, okay? Um, so we've got, let's look what we did. Three... We've got uh, three Big League Chew. That just sounds weird, Big League Chew. It's gum, just in case you didn't know, gum. <laughs> and then we've got the Father's Day gift card holder and the birthday card. If you want these three make and takes next week, make sure that your order is $35 or more. And it just so happens that this bundle is $35. You can order anything you want. If you already have the bundle and you want the projects, order whatever. Um, but as long as your order is $35, I don't care what you order, use the host code right there. I'll put it in the comments to, or in the description too. Um, and Monday by midnight. I get up Tuesday morning and I cut and I have them all packed by lunch and done. So if you put in an order late, usually it's too late, okay? Okay, so that's that. Let's move all of that out of the way. And I have some stuff, some fun stuff to show you. And I'm going to kind of go through it quick. So when we go on an incentive trip, Stampin' Up! spoils you rotten. And once you go on a Stampin' Up! trip, it's kind of hard to not go <laughs> or to go on a trip by yourself, you know, like that's not by Stampin' Up! Because they just are go above and beyond with everything. Every night we had what they call a pillow gift on our bed. And I don't know if you guys can see this. This is one of them, this super cute, really nice beach bag. You might have seen behind me, when I started the video, there was, um, they put that cute sign on my door, and there's also a sun hat, a beautiful, beautiful um, straw hat that says SU Maui or something on it. Well, guess what? My head's too big, it doesn't fit. So now it's gonna be a decoration. <laughs> I was so mad. Um, but they, not only do they spoil me, but they spoil my husband too. Um, and you know what? I know that this is not everything. I have already put some things in use and put away, but this is, I think the stuff that you guys are going to see the most. Um, I forgot to, I never even showed you guys this when I got my travel documents. They send you this with luggage tags every time these cute little, look how cute this is. And, uh, you know, you can keep like your important papers and stuff. And there was our agenda and all that. So there's that and our name tags. Um, and then let's see, where do I start? Where do I start? Oh, we got, when we got there, you know, you get a lay and Ted got one of these, which 
Sam, I don't know if Sam's on here, but she said that sea bean necklace. And so I guess that's what they're made out of, sea beans. And I was like, ooh, I'm keep, totally keeping that. He was, he's like, whatever. Um, the first day we had um, like a brunch and they gave everybody Ray-Bans. I don't know why I have this. This isn't the Ray-Bans. Oh, I guess this is just the holder. But my Ray-Bans, oh, I didn't even notice it's just stamping up. Oh my gosh, I'm so glad I kept this. Um, mine are in my purse right now, not in a case. So I'm gonna keep this and put them in the case. But I got Ray-Bans and Ted got Ray-Bans. They had, I don't know, 10 or 15 different kinds and we got to pick whatever, we, which ones we liked. And then let's see, the rest I think is product um, that I'm gonna show you. Oh, we got some cookies, these beautiful Honolulu cookies. I'm letting myself eat one a day. Um, and then the last night we got a little necklace. So nice. Um, and then every day, not only would you get a gift on your bed, you go, got to go to the hospitality room and spin the wheel. And every other day it would be product. And then the other days it would be something else. And I'm trying to remember what all it was. Um, this day it was travel things. And these are straws. And it was so funny. Look, they even come with a little cleaner. It was so funny because I had just been complaining about the paper straws. It was like the first, maybe the second day. Because I hate paper straws. And then they gave us these. I was so happy. But isn't that nice? Like a little, I think I'm going to have to keep those in my purse. <laughs> travel straws. Um, and then, okay, you guys get ready. We were very sad to see our buffalo check stamp leave, right? But guess what? Look at the ribbon. Oh my gosh. I almost, like my friend Rhonda said, I almost passed out when I saw it. And it's skinny and it's perfect. Look at it. So stinking cute. Oh, I love it. it. It better stay around after the holiday catalog. That's all I'm saying. Look, and then I, someone even said, you know, you can color it with your blends. You can make it orange for Halloween, red for Christmas, pink for Valentine's, whatever. Anyway, that's my favorite thing. I'm so excited. Um, and then <laughs> um, we got these and I don't want to open them because they look like they're going to go everywhere, but they're, okay, maybe I will. Shimmer sequins. They look like our sequins, but they're loose. Look how many there are. Wow, they're different sizes. I mean, there must be a bazillion or 800, it says. That's still a lot. Um, okay, so there's that. Let me see. I'm going to show you all the embellishments first. That's all I have. Um, who asked me about pineapples? Um, Debbie? Yes, we brought two pineapples home. One for my mom, one for Ted's mom. Um, it's very soft, Carla. I would say softer than the bumblebee ribbon. <laughs> Mary, that's funny because that's what I said about this paper I'm going to show you. You guys might have seen it, the, the dog and cat paper. I said, oh, look how cute. Boom, it's on back order because it's so cute. Um, I'm just kidding. It's not on back order. <laughs> but the things that are super popular sometimes go on back order, although Stamina Up has been doing a fantastic job with the paper. But look at this Christmas paper. There is a stamp set and dies that coordinate with it. Okay, let's see. There's that, the back side. And then the little stockings. Look, there's a corgi. So cute. Look, that looks like pepper. So cute. And then that's the back side. Yeah, this is going to be so popular. No, Denise, there were no, no holes in the sequins. They will be great for shakers. Whoever said that, it already went by. I missed it. Um, yeah, this paper is going to be crazy cute. Look, the cat. He's like grumpy cat. And the little dog. And the, oh, there's a bird. Okay, and that, oh, I like that print. And then we've got just regular stockings and the dies will cut the stockings out and then some stars. And then this one, I sent this to my mom. She was like, oh my gosh. Corgis, aren't they stinking cute? Just so cute. And then that's a good one. That could be non-Christmas. And then Christmas lights and green stripe. So yeah. I know, it, this is going to be like the most popular, for sure. Then, um, one day it was paper that we got, um, spinning the wheel, right? Is that this? No, no, we must have gotten this paper another time. This is another Christmas paper. God, I don't even, you know, the thing is, such a whirlwind. Them 
I don't even remember. I don't even remember when I got this paper, nor do I even remember looking at it. Ooh, I like that one. Ooh, I like that one. It's like I'm seeing it for the first time. <laughs> Gosh. Pine cones. That's a good one. That's good for even non-Christmas. That one. That one. Ooh, I love that one. And some little berries. And like a... Oh, no. This is the next set. Okay, so there's that. That's a Christmas set. What time is it? Okay, I, I really have to go fast. Now, Rhonda and I, my friend Rhonda and I got two different papers. And so we split them. So I have two papers to show you. This one is like, oh, here it is. No, no, that says sweet stockings. I must have gotten rid of the backing. Anyway, this is like the fall paper. And it's so pretty that, look, I don't, I mean, like it could be used, ugh, it could be used for other things. Pool party, Calypso, Bumblebee. Look at that. Isn't that beautiful? Gorgeous, gorgeous. Okay, but wait, just wait. That's shiny. Um, let me show you the paper I got. It's the Halloween paper. Oh my gosh, you guys, it's so cute. So cute. Let's see. Okay, I'll show you the front. The back sides are black and white. So there's that one. There's that one. My Halloween class is going to be so cute. Look, pink. I think that's polished pink with the bats. I mean, come on. So stinking cute. If you love Halloween, get excited because there are two Halloween big sets. One has dies, one has punch. So cute. Okay, did I show all of you? And then it's got all the black and white stuff. So six by six. I like when it comes six by six. It makes it easy for me for classes. And then this is silver foil. It, like, you know how our silver foil retired. So this is kind of like that other paper I showed you. It's like a, a brushed silver. It almost has like a purple hue. Um, Teresa, me too. I don't like scary Halloween. I like cute Halloween. I know, me too. Okay, so there's that. Then here are the stamps that I got. Christmas season. Um, and then look, pillow box dies. Love that. Well defined. That was a wheel. One day we spun the wheel. Candy cane background stamp. I know it's May and I'm already showing you Christmas and Halloween. I know, I know. All right, let's see. These are the stocking dies. So I didn't get the stamp set that goes with the paper, but I do have the dies um, with the, the little pets. Look, those are great. And that's a great, ooh, I like that little tag. Got stitching on it. And then these are the seasonal labels dies. Love me some labels. It's a big set. All right, there you go. Now, is there anything else in here? Oh, the last thing I'm gonna show you, and I can't show you the inside, but I can show you the front of the new catalog. Now, the holiday catalog was supposed to come out in July, but because of the pandemic and shipping and stuff, it's actually not gonna come out till August. But if you're a demonstrator, if you buy the starter kit, Next month in June, you can order from this. We get to pre-order. No, 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 that's not right. We In July, we get to pre-order. Everything's pushed back a month, so I'm super confused. So if you buy the starter kit, then you're a demonstrator, then you get to pre-order from this in July. Very exciting. Um, let's see, it says, what does it say? Catalog sales period, August 3rd. Huh, they were able to change that on here. August 3rd to January 3rd. Okay, so that'll be coming in August. Okay, that's it. And look, I bought these. These are so cute. They handed these out at the pool, these little gummy pineapples. I've never seen those before. Have you guys seen those? So cute. Okay, that's it. Phew, I got through it. Now I gotta run to the vet. You guys, thank you so much for joining me today. Um, I don't know what we're gonna do next week. I don't know yet, but we're gonna, I promise it's gonna be cute, hopefully. <laughs> <laughs> so hopefully I can get it done. Um, I hate to make promises when I haven't even made projects yet. No, seriously, I'll have something cute for you. And remember, if you want today's three make and takes, get your order in by Monday at midnight. And oh, the starter kit. Don't forget that. That ends this weekend too. Okay. All right, you guys have a wonderful Memorial Day weekend. Bye.